Greetings, citizens. Just a guy has arrived. And we are playing more Dream Daddy. A dad dating simulator. And right now, Justin Box and his daughter Amanda are at the neighborhood cookout. And we are going to find ourselves some new friends. Although we may have, may have already made some in Matt. Noah, was it? Victor Hugo! No, vi nah, blah, blah. And Matt Hugo, and of course our good college friend Craig. But now we must. We must either talk to uh, Robert and Brian or Joseph and Damien. You know what? Let's, let's talk to Joseph and Damien. I spot Joseph, chatting with the guy from Dead, Goth, and Beyond by the grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over to them. Hmm. So I'm curious. Can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? Because uh, I just really like being hotter than normal. Huh. Where do I start? Does it have... Well, shit. Good on you. The house stays warm as normal in the winter. It provides an artistic contrast to the neighbor neighborhood, and it complements the Clemson interior perfectly. <laughs> it's definitely an interesting... Oh, God, where did my... That one go? <clears throat> it's definitely an interesting choice. Ah. Thank you! Uh, 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 uh. I'm very proud of my abode. Mm. Justin! Look who I was having a conversation with this Damien. Wow! I, I can't keep this straight. Haha, ha, there's a pun in there. I was just having a conversation with Damien here about his, uh, his aesthetic design decisions. Damien regards me up and down with a warm but critical uh. eye. How do you do? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. I think I saw you in a de dead goth and beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. I must apologize for my behavior on that day. You see, I take the ghost lifestyle very seriously to be caught in a ruse by such a corporation as Dead Goth and Beyond was profoundly prostrating indeed. Ah, ah, ah. Huh. I hope you know that while my anger may have been justified, it was no such way for a gentleman such as myself to act. It's, it's okay, man. Just, just take it easy. Hmm. Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? What is your blood type? Yes, my daughter and I just... Moved in the other, what was that other question? She well, anyway, she was the one I took to Dead Goth and Beyond. Oh. Very good taste on her part. Does she partake in the Goth lifestyle as well? I think for a second. I look over to Amanda, who's hanging out with some of the older kids in the neighborhood. Hey Amanda, would you consider yourself Goth? Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under one specific label. But I guess if I had to choose, I would describe myself as twee hipster with some normcore leanings. That's a cool though. Oh, I pity. Hey, you you two is enjoying the party so far? Uh oh, definitely. Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Oh. Amanda walks up to the conversation. I also like The Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as goth? Huh. That would, that it would, my dear. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Damien the blood much at your service. Damien the finishes the sentence with a flourish and a bow, producing a seal of rose and offering it to Amanda. Huh. Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a quick curtsy. <laughs> my, don't you know how to treat a lady? <laughs> Christian and Christy. Hello, Amanda. <laughs> Hello, Amanda. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twin kids appear. Uh, are they speaking in unison? Ah. Uh, hey! Won't you come play with us? Huh? Uh, come play with us. Forever. Mm. Guys, enough with the creepy, creepy twin stick! We've talked about this, eh? Mm? Christian and Christy. Christian and Christy. Christian and Christy. Yeah. Slowly back away. Where do you think they got that uh, from? Mary pops in the conversation, wine in hand. Ooh, uh, I, uh, I don't, I don't know, sweetie. Where do you think? Mary takes a long slip of wine. <laughs> I think I might have taped over a VeggieTales. 
on VHS with The Shining. It knows. She takes another sip of her wine. Oh. It's Krish. Ugh. Wasn't he with you? Ugh. You... Yeah, you had him a moment ago, didn't you? <sighs> He's probably stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be fine. Toddlers are resilient. Mary tips her glass to me. Ah. Ain't my first time in the rodeo. It's my fifth. Ugh. I've squeezed four little... <laughs> We uh, would you do me a favor and please find Chris? That would be great. I, right? hmm. I'm sure he's fine. Uh. Mary, Mary, listen, Mary. Ah. Okay, jeez. That is Jesus to you. Now, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, what do we say? Aha. Huh. Ah, Lucian, have I introduced you to Justin yet? Hey, it's that punk from Amanda's school. I remember you. Ugh, whatever. Huh. That's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite! Lucian Powers. Whatever, sir. Ugh. Lucian Powers again. Mr. Christensen. Sir. Oh. Yo, it's coming right up, kid. You vegetarian? Yep. <sighs> Make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victorian era are vegetarians? They describe, describe the carnivorous type people as blood rappers. Dad. Hey. Yo, that's really interesting, Damien. I lost the voice. Shit. Joseph turns to the grill. Ah? Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Whoa, is that a tattoo? Oh. <laughs> uh, yup. <clears throat> what, what, what was it? What was it? Yup. No, that's Craig. Yup, I wasn't always a youth pa- uh, 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 when's Brian? Yup, I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know? That's so cool. Where's he behind? Oh my. What? Lucien! We'll talk about this later. Damn. Yo, that's pretty cool, dog. What's the significance of the tattoo? I don't know. Just that looks sick. Huh? Well, well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, though. That number carries weight. Man, Joseph is way, a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I thought he was pastor. He just picked out of the womb with the popped out of the womb with the Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. Oh boy. That would be like super awkward. I, and I don't know if I want to do that in front of the guy we lost the daddy mom battle to. Let's do it. I glance across the bar and notice why we're in Brian Cheney going for drinks, man. I don't think I want to deal with being one more Brian or whatever happened to Robert last night. Oh, I don't know that got me staring. Oh, no, Brian's moving over. Oh, shit. Shoot. Flash his mouth. Walk over to them. Hey, guys. Hey. Yo, Justin. Crikey, how's this? How the heck are you? Settling in the neighborhood, all right. Oh, you bet. Oh, blah, blah, blah. oh, you betcha. Got the living room in order, at least. Yeah. Got the living room in order, at least. That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the 50 inch in there. The game looks great in high definition. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm? Justin, have you met Robert yet? Yeah, we've met. Robert regards me over his whiskey. Good seeing you again. Yeah. We were just talking about my most recent camping trip. Spent a night out in the woods with Daisy and Maxwell. She's definitely outdoorsy one. Even caught a first fish. Uh, it's good to see you talking about your daughter out like that. Taking me. But she loved it. I... And it's great that she loves the outdoors. My Mine loves... Being inside. Hmm. Ten damage! Brian raises his eyebrows at me. Being... 
side. Making art! Making art! She won a local competition for that art. Yep. Oh. Did I put it on too strongly? Robert stares at me blankly for a second. I... Anyway... I haven't gone camping in years. Not since the last time. Same here. Well, things change once you have... Wait, what happened the last time? Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Well, old Johnny Boy and me were out in the back country. Johnny Boy is a strong kid. Met him in my armor days. Comes from Kansas. They built him tougher out there. Anyway, things go down south pretty quick. Johnny Boy breaks his ankle and the rope bridge snaps. You can see the bone popping out through the skin. Johnny Boy screaming now. Crying for his mama. Losing blood. We're two days out from the next living soul. Here I am with a dear friend bleeding out in front of me. Unable to dress the wound. But now I got a fireman carry a six four eight hundred eighty pound man over some of the toughest terrain I've ever been in. I won't lie to you. There were moments during those two days when I thought about leaving old Johnny Boy. But you built a bond with your brothers in arms. That bond never breaks. I got that boy back to civilization. But I lost some of me out there. Hmm. I guess that's camping for you. Brian and I stare in disbelief. Robert. He takes another long sip of whiskey. Hey. I'm just kidding. My friend John and I went on inner tubing down a river and he lost a flip flop. Miss that kid. Ha ha ha. Or am I kidding? Hmm. <gasps> oh. I'm kidding. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Amanda and Daisy barrel up to us laughing. Daisy is holding a paper plate in front of her like a steering wheel. We gotta get off this haunted truck! Ha! Oh no! The ghost locked the doors! Yeah! Quick! Hit the emergency escape button! But trucks don't have emergency escape buttons! Dad! Ah, then hit the brake, I guess. And then we'll get out of the truck. Oh. The imaginary truck. Yeah. Anyway, we're safe from the ghosts. But how will we ever survive this arctic tundra? Daisy, you might have to eat me. Are you prepared to do that? I'm prepared to do anything to survive. Huh. That's cold-blooded. I like that. Although, I'm not sure I have the materials required to properly cook you. Mm. You know... Blah, blah. You know that reminds me... Blah, 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 blah. You know that reminds me of the last time I went skiing. Oh, but... Uh. Wait a second. Are you guys... Playing... Long haul, long haul ice road paranormal ghost truckers. Yeah, Amanda and I love that show. Uh. It's the best. Crikey, it's my favorite. Especially that episode where Caleb hides Flint's keys and Flint retaliates by breaking an ancient cursed urn and sending the spirit after him. Yeah, it's such quality reality television. I don't watch a whole lot of television, but I do enjoy that show. That and war documentaries. All right, Daisy. I found us a couple of bugs, and they're going to make a great meal. Lots of protein. Going to keep us from starving out here in this harsh, icy wasteland. But there's a whole table of food right over the... Daisy, it's a game. We're playing pretend. It's what kids do. Live a little! Amanda gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms from the snack table. They eat them with mock disgust. <laughs> Let's go find kindling for a fire! Okay! But not an actual fire. You guess we're playing pretend? Yes! Now you're getting it! Now let me tell you this story about my dad. Daisy and Amanda run off. What a cute couple of kids. <laughs> Man, I've never seen her get along with anyone so quickly. I guess Amanda just sort of has a way with kids. Uh. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Hmm, it's nice that he's not trying to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have a regular friendship after all. Really? Yeah, she just kind of keeps to herself. The teacher spends, says she spends every recess in the library. All the other kids are intimidated by all her intelligence. 
There it is. This guy. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age, too. She used to have a habit of crawling under tables and crying every time we took her to a restaurant. It was adorable. She bit people, too. That was also adorable. <laughs> oh, 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 kids, am I right? Gotta love them. You're required to by law, after all. I hear that. Well, since they're going along so well, maybe we should try to put together a little play date for them. They do seem to get along really well. But the thought of continually hearing about all of Ryan Lyon's accomplishments is rough. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Real nice. Oh. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellas. And without further ado, let's work on some magic! Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula into the air. It's easily some of the best grill work I have ever seen, and I have seen some grill work in my day, let me oh. tell you. Oh, oh. You guys, I think this is my first time in front of a grill. He's working faster now, effortlessly hooking cheese onto patties, perfectly grilling onions on the side, one after all, one after the other. The dads take notice, and the crowd around Joseph to admire this masterful technique. Oh. Oh. You probably didn't know this, Justin, but Joseph's known, known around here for his groomanship. <laughs> it's totally radical. Hey. He's on there. He's unbelievable, mate. Dude. I'll try to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. <laughs> hey. Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about him. <laughs> Must that we keep talking about this? Can't we just appreciate the artist? Hey. <laughs> I've never seen him make a mistake. Hmm. Oh, okay. We need to stop. This is getting too... Cheesy. Mm. <laughs> Please stop! All the children at the party boo the glorious display of puns in unison. She's too young. Nice. Alright guys, the food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. Ugh. We all grab our food and hang out, enjoying a perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Hey. Hey. Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac. Hey. It's kinda nice, isn't it? It feels like there's a real community here. It totally helps when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. Oh. Yo, we're happy to help you here, have you here, man. I think you're gonna like this neighborhood a lot. Oh. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all of the kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really be making a killing. <laughs> hey, why don't you add us all on dad <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay, we can do that. Dad book? What is that? Tell me more. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all on it, so if you ever need to reach out to anyone, that is the simplest way to do it. Eh? Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest of the barbecue goes pretty smoothly. We all trade stories, so did I tell you about the time I threw a flame and tennis ball at the police station? And drink beer as our kids play across the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmen Zita and those weird twins. And all that was pretty fun, although I think they, uh, they wanted her soul. Amanda and I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. <laughs> pretty fun party, don't you think? I mean, I got a burger in me. Ugh. Felt like I was at a networking event. Ugh. 
I wish I could have been playing paranormal ice road truckers. You and Daisy seem like you were having a way better time than I was. All right. Because we were! Hmm? Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on Dad Book. Maybe I will. If I haven't figured out how social media works. Which I won't! So I won't. Dots. I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. Go ask your mother. Uh. Amanda and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm, seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. That is because broccoli is superior to cauliflower. Just, that's just how it is, I'm sorry. Any big plans for this evening? Huh. Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Of course, just keep me posted and be home before midnight. Mm -hmm. That you know, that's when the dark hour begins. You got it! And be careful. Bring your evoker just in case. Yeah. I will! Make good choices. Ah. Uh. Of course! And call me Beep Me if you want to reach me. <laughs> Dad, you're not gonna do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that, and I will never do that. Hmm. Okay. Do you have any plans tonight? I... Uh... My plans were kinda to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda. But I don't have to find something else to do. I'm gonna... Well... What is Justin gonna do? Citizens? Well... Find out next time on Dream Daddy. But until then, I'm afraid that this is fair.